<coughs> Hello, dear friend. <coughs> this is Yule Humphreys. <coughs> I'm glad to be with you and share with you again a, a brief five to ten minute message on the Word of God. I pray to bless your heart and the Lord will bless it as it goes out all over the world. Amen. I want to speak to you on the fact that we need to learn to deal with all, all kinds of people. We need to deal with all kinds of people. We're all different, but we're all made in the image of God. And we all have many similarities, but there's, that's the thing we need to look at. And Paul, in writing to the church at Corinth, gave some good words. And here's some things he said. He said, Though I be free from all men, yet I have made myself to be a servant and a slave to all men, that I might gain some. He's free from all men in that when he was saved by grace, he knew that the hand of the Lord was with him and his sins were all forgiven and that he was not anymore a debtor to the law, to God. He was free. He was born again. He became a Christian. And this is true with me. And it's true with many of you that is listening. Hallelujah. And he said, <clears throat> But unto the Jews I became like a Jew that I might gain the Jews. And so when he was with the Jewish people, Paul, who was originally a Jew himself, went along with them. For instance, they all always uh, worshipped the Lord on su Saturday instead of on Sunday. And uh, so he was, and the Bible stated that since Jesus came out of the grave on Sunday, that the day of worship was changed to the first day of the week. But Paul said, I went in on, our, on Saturday and worshiped with the Jews in order that I might win some of them to the Lord. He said, I, I came to them that were under the law as those that were under the law. The law of Moses. It does not save us, but talk. But the Jews have all believed in it. And he said, I became as one of those who believed in that law to, the, to, to one extent, and that was that he might bring them to know the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. Then he said to them that are without law as though they were without law. To the weak I became weak that I might win them to Christ. In other words, when he was talking to someone that was not, uh, not uh, uh, introduced and was not acknowledging the things of the Lord and he had never been introduced to them and, and, or maybe even the person that was just a babe in Christ, he didn't talk to them like a professor in a seminary. He got out on their level. He tried to walk in their shoes. Now that's something that we need to do. We need to try to walk in the other person's shoes. We need to try to understand where they are and what, they, what they're thinking and, and try to go along with them as best we can to the end that we might bring them to Christ. To the end. Now he said, I am, I, I, and therefore he says, I do all things for the gospel's sake. I made all things to all men that by, my, by all means save some through Christ. And so Paul said, I've become, a, I've become a, 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 other, other than trying to, to set myself up as being a different and better than knowing all. He said, no, no, I've I become all things to all men that, in order for me to save some of them in Christ. So this is important, very important. I, uh, I, the other day, I'm, I'm a Protestant. I, I believe in, in the Bible and I believe in uh, and I hold to the Baptist faith as far as my membership but but I, I'm open to any church that believes Jesus and preaches the Word of God and I was last week I was I attended a funeral uh, of my mother-in-law's stepmother my stepmother-in-law a funeral in a, in a Catholic church she was a member of the Catholic Church and so I sat there and they had the priest I had the, uh, had him, uh, offered the mass where he stands up and they come by and he gives them a, a wafer to put in the mouth as the body of, representing the body of Christ. Now we don't do it just that way but when they went by I got up and stood right there with him. I went by and I took the wafer and I said to the priest, the Lord bless you. And he looked at me and smiled and said, the Lord bless you. And I took it because I wanted to show them that I'm willing to, uh, to accept what is possibly uh, that we can accept in any of their different kind of, uh, kind of dogma and doctrine in order that we might win some of them to Jesus Christ. And that was my hope. Then he says, I do this for the gospel's sake. 
Know ye not that they which run, run to obtain a prize? So run that you may win. And so here he is saying that we need to run in the race of life. The Christian life is like a race. We're running it. We're enrolled in the race and we're running. We're running. We're running to win. So do your best. And the way we, we run to win is to, to learn that there is uh, some things that we need to know. Over in the uh, 12th chapter of Hebrews, in the first verse it says, So let us lay aside every weight and everything that easily besets us, and run with patience the race that's set before us. And so we need to run with patience. You need to believe, and you need to trust God, and you need to hold on to the Lord. You need to be patient with others. You need to forgive others. You need to deny yourself in order to run to win the prize. And it's important that you do that because God loves you, and He's called you. Now here's one great way we can run this race and win the prize. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. We must look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And this is the way that we will win the prize. And this is the way we'll finish the race. And we do this in two different ways among some others. Prayer and reading the Bible. My dear friend, I'm talking to you that love the Lord. And I want you to grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord as I hope I can grow. I want you to learn, as I'm trying to learn, that the things that are so important in growing in the grace of the Lord is by prayer. Oh, prayer is so essential. Oh, prayer is so essential. Your life, your life will not become more Christian than your prayer life. Your prayer life is the indication. It's the thermometer. It's that which sets the key. It's that which allows you to find and follow the Lord. And that is prayer. Spend time in prayer every day. Spend time in prayer. Make time. Find time somewhere every day. And spend not two or three minutes. But if you can, oh, spend uh, all you can. I, I thank God it would be good to spend 30 minutes in prayer. And then all through the day, take time to pray. Take time to call on the Lord. Seek the face of God. For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's the way we're saved, is by trusting the Lord for His salvation. And we know that when we do this, we're saved forever. It says in Ephesians, the first chapter, You that believed in Jesus, you've accepted Christ, and therefore, being having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit, which is the guarantee of your salvation. And when you believe in Jesus, you're sealed with the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God comes into your life. And you become a child of God, and you walk with the Lord, and you live for Him. And that's so important, to learn that we must, to, in order to, to live the Christian life, is to pray every day, to read your Bible, just a few verses every day, asking God to speak to your heart. And number three, depend on the Lord instead of yourself. Depend on the Lord. Ask Him to help you do that. And you do that by trusting Him. Over in the book again of uh, Colossians, we read we read a, a good verse, and 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 I I want you to notice that verse is a good one. In Colossians, in the first chapter, verse 29, Paul said, "Whereunto I labor, I labor, striving according to His working, which works in me mightily." Paul, the great apostle, said, "I labor for the Lord," but. I labor according to his working, which works in me mightily. And so Paul was getting Paul out of it, so Christ could be in it. And so when we live to please God, then we're going to be able to please and help others. Oh, learn, learn to, to depend on the Lord that lives in you. The Holy Spirit lives in you, Christian, and he wants to direct your life and guide your way and show you how to live. Learn to walk and talk and live for God and learn how to deal with all kinds of people to bring them to know Christ. To bring them to know Christ. That's important. If you've never prayed a brief prayer and asking the Lord to forgive you and save you, then pray this brief prayer with me as I close. Just say, Dear God, Oh God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me. I believe He rose again. I believe He paid for all my sins upon the cross at Calvary. I believe He's coming back. 
come into my heart. Help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Amen and amen. Pray a prayer like that and walk with God and know that He is there. May the Lord bless you, dear friend. May He give you grace sufficient. And may you learn to deal with all kinds of people by loving God and loving others. Amen.